Meghan Markle has expertise in one particular skill that Kate Middleton has bemoaned her lack of proficiency in, and the Duchess of Cambridge has confessed her aim to give George, Charlotte and Louis the vital talent. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently welcomed their royal baby Archie Harris in Mountbatten, Windsor in May. Kate Middleton and Prince William, meanwhile, are parents to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, and may even be planning a fourth pregnancy if royal rumors are to be believed. While the duchesses have very different backgrounds and personal styles they both share a love of learning and languages. However, while Meghan is fluent in Spanish, Kate has bemoaned her lack of language proficiency and revealed how she aims to make sure she gives her children the skill. Meghan traveled to Argentina as a student in 2002, where she began to learn Spanish. She then completed a six-week course in Spain to perfect her skills. Biographer Andrew Morton, in his 2018 book Meghan, A Hollywood Princess, elaborates, Meghan secured a six-week internship as a junior press officer at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires. Her superior, Mark Krischik, now retired, recalled her as a young woman who was good to work with and who carried out her assignments with efficiency and ingenuity. Mr. Kishchik told the author, she had all that it takes to be a successful diplomat. Mr. Morden continues, Megan, flew to Madrid to take a six-week course in Spanish at the International Education for Students program. It was an added string to her bow just in case she wanted to give the world of diplomacy another try. Meanwhile, Kate also similarly studied abroad for a spell as a student. Kate spent part of her gap year in 2000 in Florence, where she studied art before embarking on her History of Art degree at the University of St. Andrews, where she met Prince William. During her studies at the British Institute in Florence, she took Italian lessons alongside her art course. However, in 2018 she revealed how she has not kept up her proficiency in the language. During a visit to Leicester, she delighted Italian well-wishers when she told them ciao. However, the Duchess self-deprecatingly added, My languages are so bad, I have to make sure my children are better than me, that's my aim. The Duchess also spent time in the Middle Eastern country of Jordan as a child and picked up some Arabic. It is not clear whether the Duchess retains any of her Arabic language skills, however she has made strides in making sure her children are well grounded in a second language. Prince George and Prince Charlotte are already learning Spanish, thanks to their Spanish-born nanny Maria Barralo, who comes from Palencia in northern Spain. The Duchess told a well-wisher in 2017 that the then three-year-old George could already count to ten in Spanish, and that Ms. Barralo was also teaching Charlotte. With Meghan Markle's Spanish skills, it remains to be seen whether she will get newborn Archie practicing the language alongside his Cambridge cousins when he gets older. It comes after Prince Harry was accused of making a tactless jibe directed at Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. When Meghan Guest edited the September edition of Vogue, an interview with Harry was one of the standout features. In it, Harry revealed that he and Meghan are planning to have a maximum of two children due to environmental concerns, a very awkward comment considering William and Kate are the proud parents of three. In conversation with primatologist Dr. Jane Goodall, Harry explained that he feels differently about the environment now he has a child. He said, I think, weirdly, because of the people that I've met and the places that I've been fortunate enough to go to. I've always had a connection and love for nature. I view it differently now, without question. He added, I've always wanted to try and ensure that, even before having a child and hoping to have children. Dr. Good all exclaimed, not too many. To which Harry agreed, to, maximum. The prince continued, I've always thought, this place is borrowed. And, surely, being as intelligent as we all are or as evolved as we all are supposed to be, we should be able to leave something better behind for the next generation. Writing in the Times, Libby Purvis claimed Harry's latest pious vow was tactless given his brother's third baby and his own household's conspicuous carbon footprint. 